everybody, here we are again, and it's time to review the oatmeal piecemeal. I'll just give you some facts and figures. So, take the glasses off so I can see. Brewed it, the brew day was 9th of the 4th, 2020 obviously. It was nine days in the fermenter. It fermented out, it finished fermenting out way before that. So I barreled it on 18th of the 4th, 2020. Uh, where are we? It's been 15 days in the barrel or so. Is that right? I tapped it, not last night, the night before. I think I only had one pint, which was obviously cloudy. The first pint last night was hazy, but then it was crystal clear. So that is just sediment settling in the top takeoff float. So yeah, the starting gravity was uh, 1044 at 19 degrees C. Final gravity 1012 at 18 degrees C, which comes out at 4.3% right up my street that so without further ado let's have a look at it so for starters i don't know you can probably see that crystal clear see the fingers through the glass give it a whirl with the torch so it's a nice pale amber colour shall we say crystal clear the head does die down but keeps a layer on it so let's have a quick sniff It smells like beer. There's a multi. Slightly earthy. You don't often sniff your beer. Let's just dive in and have a taste. Right up front, there's a, a sharp sort of bitter in. Not too sharp, it is. It's just a. There is that bitter bite when you t first take it into the mouth, and then there's like a fruity. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think what it is. Yeah, there's, there's the, the bitter bite at the beginning, then there's a almost blackberry fruitiness coming through, quickly followed by sort of malty chocolate flavours, and a lingering, just a mid-bittering flavour. As if you're drinking a pint of bitter, which basically this is what it is. It's a, it's a, a nice average bitter. When you you get that when you breathe in, that sort of lingering bitterness on the tongue. One of the reasons why you drink beer, I think or drink beer with hops in for that classic taste. The hops are all sort of Golding's variants. Just using up what I had. It was uh, 25 grams of 
Whitbread variant Goldings. Nine grams of Halatau, which is a Goldings variant. And 33 grams of Goldings at the start of the boil. That is all because I was using hop, Hops Up. And then there's 15 minutes of Goldings. 15, 15 grams of Goldings at the last 15 minutes. You could change that out to any of the above, really. There's no need to be complicated because the, the hops at the beginning were only for the bittering and I was just using bits up, so just bung bittering hops in either probably any of the target fuggles, goldings, Halitau, so it's a family because you will get a certain amount of flavours through as well. If you really, really, really do want to steal the recipe, crack on, but it does mean buying three different types of hops. Unless you're going to brew beer until it's coming out of your ears, which I am doing at the moment, but only because I can't go into work. But that does sound like it's coming to an end, unfortunately. But anyway, enough about that. More about the beer. Let's have another taste. Yeah. In fact, there's almost... That thing that I thought was blackberry is almost... Not really... But it's almost grapefruit. The bittering and the fruitiness, if you know what I mean, it's, it's more blackberries rubbed with grapefruit. If you ever rub blackberries with grapefruit. So as you can see, there's some nice lacing on the glass. As I said, the head doesn't really stick around, but that doesn't really matter. It's how the beer tastes. And that tastes damn fine. I think it's time to stop wittering. How long have we been? Jesus, nearly eight minutes. Right. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.